No, 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 dad, 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 hear me out. This is a great idea. It's a fly shop slash gas station slash motel slash boat storage place across the street from Abe's and we call it Gabe's. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Welcome back to another episode of Huge Fly Fisherman. Today's video is about how to row a drift boat. Joining me again is James from About Trout. He's a full-time fly fishing guide. He also has a YouTube channel. It's family friendly, just like mine. You can find him at abouttrout.com. I'll leave all his information down below. Okay, let's start. So you're thinking about getting a boat to be one of the cool kids, huh? Maybe do it for the gram. Or maybe daddy dipped into your trust fund so you could live your dream as a fly fishing guide. And you have no clue what to do with your boat, like those guys Chaz and Jaden. Oh, Chaz Samuels and Jaden Keystone? The Trustafarians? Oh, I've seen them on the water. Yeah, they can't row. Hey, it's your boy Chaz Samuels. Just a quick update. Completed guide school, and now I'm catching slabs. Hey, I'm Jaden Keystone. Check out this sick butter. Or maybe you already bought a boat and you have no clue what to do with it. Well, you're not alone. There are lots of other people in Bozeman just like you. And for all you Missoula and Denver folks, just replace the drift boat with a raft and this video applies to you as well. I need to open this beer. I think probably the number one goal of fly fishing out of a boat is to keep the dry side up, don't hit any rocks, keep all of your anglers in the boat, and return home safely. Squeezing fish is just a bonus. We're all about safety here at Huge Fly Fisherman. And about trout. Dude, I heard Chaz wrecked his boat. Yeah, on the San Juan, which is pretty much impossible to do. <laughs> Hard to see through all those dreads, probably. <laughs> hey, come out to the show. I'm opening up for Damian Marley's brothers, cousins, babysitters, and Please realize that in no way are you going to learn how to row just from watching this video. There's only one way to learn how to row a boat, and that's getting out on the water and uh, rowing a boat. On the water. On the water. Rowing a boat on the water is how you learn to row a boat on the water. That kind of makes sense. I know a guy that learned how to row from a video. His name's Chaz. And we all know how that worked out. Not good. He has dreads now. <laughs> you can learn like I did by just throwing yourself out there and dealing with consequences. Or you can take one of them fancy god schools. Either way is fine. It's your call. Let's not tell you what to do. You gotta follow your heart. I'm playing in Durango tonight. You guys should come to the show. How'd you learn how to row boat? You can learn like I did by just going out with a burned out fishing guide and they can sit in the back seat and scream at you the whole time. It's really effective, but it's really damaging for your self-esteem. As fishermen, we're generally back rowing and slowing down all the time. We're not whitewater rafting here. They push forward, we pull backward. So the basic idea here is just to position the boat to give your anglers the best shot at wherever they're gonna cast. You wanna be close to your target to make casting easier, but not so close that you spook the fish or run them over with the boat. That sounds like something Jaden would do. Classic Jaden. Hey man, we're playing in Durango tonight, you should come. Generally, you're gonna keep the boat parallel to the current, parallel to the bank, and about 30 feet from where you're fishing. If your anglers aren't very good, you'll need to be a little bit closer and they need to watch my casting video. Okay, let's talk about how to not hit something. <laughs> A general rule of thumb is to not hit stuff with the boat. Let's talk about how to avoid objects. That's really important. So generally, like, the least amount of things that you hit, the better that you are at rowing. Try to aim for zero. <laughs> zero is a good number to aim for. So if you come upon an object that it looks like you're going to hit and you want to avoid it, like that rock right behind me. Dude, there's a rock. Look out. I'm going to try to grind it with the boat, maybe a tail slide. Angle your stern to one side and point the bow at whatever you don't want to hit and pull back on the oars. By the way, they're called oars not paddles. You know who calls them paddles? I'll give you one guess, or actually two. Ja Chaz and Jaden. <laughs> it's butter, bro. Uh, no, I heli fished in New Zealand. That fish sucks. That angle mentioned is called a ferry angle, not a fieri angle. I'm looking at you, guy. Uh, it's funny, it's funny. The ferry angle is just the angle that your boat is oriented in the current. The best way to not hit something is just to pay attention and watch where you're going. Look way ahead. This also helps you figure out which side of the river you wanna fish, so nothing takes you by surprise. So basically, maintain a comfortable casting distance from the shore or whatever you're casting to. Not too close, not too far. Kind of like that girl that you had a crush on in high school. Comfortable distance. Not too close, not too far. And that's gonna change depending on the skill of your anglers. We like to be about 200 feet away from the bank. <laughs> All right, let's go over the hugest rowing skill you can learn. You think they're ready for this? Yo, drop some knowledge. <laughs> What's the hugest way to row? Easy, crawl stroke. 
I think it's also called the crab, maybe the skull, the double Zellweger. It's a correctional stroke and it helps. This is how it's gonna happen. You're drifting along great, looking at the Ospreys, but you'll gradually get too close or too far away from where you wanna fish, and you need to move the boat sideways. A novice rower, like our friend Chaz, idiot, will point the stern in the direction you wanna go and throw a few backstrokes. That will move the boat sideways, but the guy in the back of the boat usually gets hosed for a minute. The crawl stroke allows you to move the boat sideways without changing the ferry angle and hosing the guy in the back. One time I asked Jaden if he could crab stroke, and he said he wasn't a peasant and only ate lobsters. So this is how you do it. This is how you do it. On the side that you want to row to, point your oar forward like this and leave your other oar sticking straight out from the boat. Now the way I like to think about it is the forward pointing oar is pulling the boat to the side while the other oar is just keeping the boat straight. That's all that's happening here. You're moving both oars at the same time in unison and you're bringing the oar blades together. The crawl stroke can be a little awkward at first. It takes some practice to get smooth with it. Like patting your head and rubbing your belly at the same time. I tried to get Chaz to pat his head and rub his belly one time. That was a good four hours. <laughs> You don't have to use the crawl stroke, it's fine. Just know that every other boat on the river is watching you and talking a lot of trash about you, behind your back, and on the internet. Do what's easiest for you, especially if Chaz or Jaden are in the back of the boat. It's okay to make life difficult for people like that. It's kind of fun. Okay, I think we're gonna wrap it up here. That certainly is not everything you need to know about rowing a boat, but it should get you started off at least. Thank you as always for watching another one of my videos. You could be doing a lot of things right now, but you're watching this video and we appreciate that. Thank you James for being here to help out. I will see you next Monday. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And while you're at it, check out hugeflyfisherman.com for all that sick merch. Also, check out my website, About Trout. If you like trout, my website's about that, so you'll like it too. He also has a YouTube channel. What's up? Subscribe, please. I'm gonna leave all that information down below. Stay huge. Butter. You gotta do something besides butter, because I'm doing yeah, butter. Oh, you're doing butter. I can't do butter. Yeah. Um,